हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज लेसन 106 ऑफ लर्न हिंदी थ्रू इंग्लिश एंड इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न अबाउट द ऑक्सिलरी वर्ब चुक चुक ओके चुक मींस टू हैव कंप्लीटेड और फिनिश्ड डूइंग समथिंग ऑलराइट सो आई हैव टू सेंटेंसेस हियर एंड यू नो हाउ टू फ्रेम द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इन हिंदी राइट आई लाफ्ड I laughed is me hasa me hasa okay me hasa me hasa is I laughed and I laughed can also be told as me has chuka me has chuka me has chuka has is laugh root verb has is root verb laugh and chuka now when you use chuka with a root verb it says that the action is already completed or already finished okay now you can go ahead and use this form everywhere okay there is nothing wrong but you will hear this form being used frequently by native hindi speakers so you need to know what this means now if you want to literally understand what this means then this can be translated as already in english okay so already is chuka not the meaning of uh, it is not chuka is not the meaning of already okay but it means that the verb is already completed okay so basically me has chuka is i already laughed this chuka gives the meaning of already okay but chuka is not the actual meaning of already all right i already laughed is me has chuka me has chuka so chuka is already gives the meaning of already and we use chuka or forms of chuk with the root verb the root verb does not change okay so whatever change needs to be done according to the gender or the number of the subject it will be done to the form of chuk or to chuk the root verb remains same okay that is one thing and uh, next thing is you must not confuse chukna to finish something which is what we are learning in this video with chukna chukna is different chukna is different the verb chukna means to miss or to omit okay to miss something or to omit something so that is chukna this is chukna chuk this is chu 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 okay so be careful while writing this if you are writing it all right now <clears throat> here is a table which gives you what the form of chuk will be with different subjects okay so this column is for subject and this is for masculine non or feminine and this is for tenses so mainly chuk or forms of chuk are used in past indefinite tense present perfect tense and past perfect tense the example of which is given below i laughed is past indefinite present perfect i have laughed past perfect i had laughed okay so with these three tenses we get to see this frequently we we also see this uh, chuk and the forms of chuk somewhere 
else some other place but we will learn about it in some other video not right now okay now i am not going to read all these things all right so you can take a screenshot of this print it out and uh, practice it but just know that when the subject is me when the subject is me the suffix will be chuka chuka if you are using it in past indefinite tense if it is hum aap ye or we then for feminine it is chuki thi chuki thi for feminine in present perfect tense it is chuki hai and so on okay so i i hope you can uh, read this and uh, try to understand what this means now you must know one thing we do not use ne in the sentence which has chuka you know the karak ne right ne main ne tum ne us ne is ne and so on so that ne or this ne will not be used in a sentence which has chuka so this chuka chuki chuke and all these things depend only on the gender and number of the subject even if the verb is transitive this will not depend on the gender and the number of the object okay all these depends only on the number and the gender of the subject okay so that uh, makes lot of uh, things easier okay now let us take few examples in each category and uh, see how uh, uh, how it works okay now he went to library he went to library if the meaning is he already went to library then in hindi it is vah vachanalai ja chuka vah vachanalai ja chuka he is vah went or already went is ja chuka to the library library is vachanalai ja is root verb which means go ja chuka means already went we watched this movie if the inner meaning is we already watched this movie then hum yah film dekh chuke hum yah film dekh chuke hum is we yah is this film is movie dekh is see or watch root verb and chuke is used because we have subject hum so chuka vah chuke hum okay so the first and the last uh, words have connection they already played cricket on that ground they already played cricket on that ground ve us maidan par cricket khel chuke ve us maidan par cricket khel chuke ve is they us is that maidan is a ground par is on cricket is cricket khel is play play is khel root verb and chuke because they so khel chuke means already played already played okay i listened to melodious songs last evening if the inner meaning is i already listened to melodious songs last evening then main kal sham madhur geet sun chuki main kal sham madhur geet sun chuki here may is i kal is last kal is actually yesterday but here it means last all right sham is evening madhur melodious geet songs sun listen root verb chuki already okay so sun chuki means already listen now when you read this sentence english sentence you won't come to know whether this sentence is said by a male or a female but when you look at hindi sentence if you have chuki then you can assume that the uh, person is feminine or a lady says this sentence 
okay now next sentences of second tense category they have already written three letters they have already written three letters वे तीन पत्र लिख चुके हैं वे तीन पत्र लिख चुके हैं वे इज दे तीन इज थ्री पत्र इज लेटर्स लिख इज राइट ओके द रूट वर्ब चुके हैं चुके हैं बिकॉज द सब्जेक्ट इज वे चुके हैं मीन्स हैव ऑलरेडी लिख चुके हैं इज हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न I have already lost my purse. मैं अपना पर्स खो चुकी हूं मैं अपना पर्स खो चुकी हूं मैं इज आई अपना इज माई पर्स इज पर्स खो इज लूज ओके रूट वर्ब चुकी हूं एज्यूमिंग दैट अ लेडी से दिस सेंटेंस ओके चुकी हूं मीन्स हैव ऑलरेडी खो चुकी हूं मीन्स हैव ऑलरेडी लॉस्ट ही हैज ऑलरेडी ब्रोकन माई लेग वह मेरा पैर तोड़ चुका है वह मेरा पैर तोड़ चुका है वह इज ही मेरा इज माई पैर इज लेग तोड़ इज ब्रेक ओके ब्रेक चुका है बिकॉज द सब्जेक्ट इज वह चुका है मीन्स हैज ऑलरेडी तोड़ चुका है मीन्स हैज ऑलरेडी ब्रोकन वह मेरा पैर तोड़ चुका है देर हैज ऑलरेडी बीन एन एक्सीडेंट देर हैज ऑलरेडी बीन एन एक्सीडेंट एक दुर्घटना हो चुकी है एक दुर्घटना हो चुकी है एक इज एन दुर्घटना इज एक्सीडेंट हो चुकी है इज हैज ऑलरेडी बीन इन दिस केस ओके चुकी है बिकॉज एक्सीडेंट इज फेमिन दुर्घटना इज फेमिन इन हिंदी राइट नेक्स्ट थर्ड टेंस कैटेगरी दे हैड ऑलरेडी मेट हिम बिफोर द पार्टी दे हैड ऑलरेडी मेट हिम बिफोर द पार्टी पार्टी से पहले वे उससे मिल चुकी थी पार्टी से पहले वे उससे मिल चुकी थी पार्टी पार्टी से पहले इस बिफोर वे इस दे उससे हिम मिल मीट रूट वर मिल मीट चुकी थी एज्यूमिंग दैट दे कंस्टिट्यूट्स ऑल फीमेल्स ओके so they constitutes all females so chuki thi mil chuki thi had already met okay i had already sent them an email i had already sent them them an email main unhe ek email bhej chuka tha main unhe ek email bhej chuka था मैं इस आई उन्हें इस देम एक इस एन ईमेल इस ईमेल भेज इस सेंड रूट वर चुका था हैड ऑलरेडी चुका था एज्यूमिंग दिस सेंटेंस इज सेड बाय अ मेल भेज चुका था हैड ऑलरेडी सेंट शी हैड ऑलरेडी फॉलन ए स्लीप बिफोर एट ओ क्लॉक वह आठ बजे से पहले सो चुकी थी वह आठ बजे से पहले सो चुकी थी वह इस शी आठ बजे इस एट ओ क्लॉक से पहले इस बिफोर सो इज स्लीप सो इज स्लीप रूट वर्ब चुकी थी मीन्स हैड ऑलरेडी chuki thi because we have she here so chuki thi means she had already fallen asleep okay so this is how you frame sentences with chuk